What's up, y'all? It's Shaker here. Welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see, your girl has a new do, okay? I love this style. Like, I literally love this style. And the thing is that even though I love this style, I could not figure this style out, y'all. Like, it took me three times to do this and I finally got it. It still can be tweaked a little bit, you know, here and there, but the hair still on, it's not falling off. So we in that thing. I feel like if I can get it, you can get it too because yeah, the struggle was real. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into the video. But first, you guys already know what to do. If you have not already joined the Shea Fam, girl, boy, what are you doing? So if you have not joined the Shea Fam, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell as well that's next to it. That way you are notified whenever I upload. Also, comment down below. I mean, is there another style you want me to try out? Is there a video you want me to do? Whatever the case may be, you already know. I just like hearing from y'all. Um, so yeah, comment, like, and subscribe. Join our family. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this struggle process. Okay, y'all. So yeah, we are here. We are doing this thing. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I've tried to do this hairstyle like three times before and it was a fail, like a complete fail. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and film this process anyways, just in case it turns out cute because every time I like try out a different hairstyle and it ends up being cute, I never have a video because I'm always winging it. You know, I'm just trying to do something. So this time, if it comes out cute, then you're seeing this video. So welcome. Welcome to the bathroom where all the hair magic happens, okay? So, um, yeah, as y'all can see, my hair is freshly washed. Uh, I'm going to try to do this on damp hair because, honestly, my hair uh, lays down better when it's damp. So, we're just going to go ahead and hop right into it. For my moisturizer, I'm just using the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Rip Twisting Cream. Hopefully, you guys can see that. But I'm just going to go in, do this to each section. And then that's when the real work will start. All right, y'all. So I'm just going to do a voiceover for the rest of the video. But y'all saw I went ahead and moisturized my hair with that butter. And then I'm just going to go in with an oil. This is the Jamaican Mango and Lime Hemp Oil. Y'all, I love how this stuff smells. And I actually got this from my local beauty supply store. So I just go in uh, with that to seal my hair. Obviously, my hair is going to be in a ponytail. So it is going to be like, you know, put away for a week or two. So I like to make sure I really coat my hair, really moisturize it, really get those ends. And then I just go ahead and wrap it up and move on to the next section I always work in sections with my hair it's just easier for me it makes my process easier um, and yeah that's just what I do after that I'm going to grab my shine and jam I love this stuff for sleek styles because it really stretches out my hair and I'm just gonna go through part my hair add some jam uh, get a brush smooth it out and part and add some more jam and just go like repeat this process throughout the whole section and y'all will see how straight my hair gets on top of the jam i just go in with that eco styler gel the olive oil one um, is my favorite one and y'all y'all see how sleek my hair looks like uh, i love this combination whenever i'm doing sleek styles so uh, i'm just gonna again go through repeat this for each section and smooth this baby on out and y'all just look at that like that is so satisfying for me to look at right now so once i'm done with that i just grab all my hair get ready to put it up into a ponytail which was a struggle y'all because you gotta like you know make sure you get the right placement of it so the ponytail part was a struggle and obviously y'all see i do have a good amount of hair so yeah i always struggle with the ponytails So again, working in sections, I'm gonna go ahead, twist my ponytail up into three sections and then individually braid those uh, three sections. That way, when I do finally braid this all together, my ponytail isn't super, super thick. Um, I don't know, it just works better for me. Like I find it harder for me to just try to braid all my hair into one braid. So this just makes the process easier. Um, once I get down to the braid, obviously y'all see my ponytail is, uh, my braided ponytail is a bit long and I don't want my ponytail that long. So I just grab a rubber band and just tie that end up just to shorten it a bit. 
and yeah that was like the perfect length for me and the hair that i used for this style was the bobby boss forever new seven loose deep wave y'all this hair was only $17.99 at my local beauty supply store and do y'all see like how good it looks this is like a human hair synthetic mix i believe and it was just so pretty y'all like i love this texture it wasn't super thin it wasn't super thick it had the right amount of luster um and for $17.99 like i was loving it so to start out my ponytail i just went ahead grabbed one little uh section of the end of the weft and just tied it around my ponytail as y'all saw and then i just go ahead and just wrap that hair all around my ponytail and when i do this i was trying to get the wefts as close to each other as possible not too close because i because i didn't want my ponytail to be super super thick but close enough to where you know you couldn't see any tracks or anything um and i just continue that process all the way up and i just go ahead and add a bobby pin wherever i feel um, like i need one and i just keep doing the same thing literally all the way up y'all and in the past i always had problems with trying to get the motion down of wrapping the hair around the ponytail but if you take your time and you just make sure you kind of just keep your ponytail in the position you want it to lay your style you know pretty much will come out right but practice makes perfect y'all like i said this was like my third time doing this style and i finally got it a little bit so i just go ahead grab another track and continue that process obviously um if you do this style i would recommend you using some wefts that are all the same length because y'all saw uh, for this pack of hair, they had like a, I forgot what the lengths were, but it was like a 20, 18, 16, something like that. And y'all see that on the top, I used a shorter length, which I actually should have used a shorter length on the bottom, but it gave me like a layer effect, which was cool because it kind of looked like I had a half up, half down style going on. But you know, we're wanting a high ponytail. So for the next time I do this style, I'll know to use wefts that are all the same length. But uh, yeah, y'all can see your girl was struggling trying to really wrap this hair around. So I finally got it and what I did was just go ahead and take um, uh, some hair from the back of the ponytail and just add some got to be glue and just wrap that around my hair. And this is what's gonna give you like that genie look that's gonna like heighten your ponytail. So I took one like thick piece and then I took a thicker piece that was in the back but closer to the top back of the ponytail and I just um, added some more got to be glued and combed it out and then just went ahead and wrapped that around. I also added some spritz just to give it like a super, you know, nice hold to where it wasn't going anywhere. So I just continued to wrap that um, piece of hair around and just tuck the end of it underneath. And then here you see, I'm just going in and combing out the hair a little bit just to get rid of some of those like super defined curls. So to finish off the style, I just went ahead and added my even 24 hour edge control. Obviously, I'm gonna grab my head scarf, sleep on this baby. And listen, your girl was tired. This was a struggle, so I was ready for bed. Okay, y'all, so y'all have seen the process. Y'all have seen me struggling, trying to get this style. I told you guys it was not easy at all the first time but i do feel like the next time i do it it'll be a lot smoother and the process will just be a lot quicker for me because i'll kind of know what to expect and know what you know works for my hair um but yeah y'all for 17.99 this is definitely like some good hair like i mean for 17.99 it's less than 20 dollars what I don't, I don't know what else to say. It does tangle, not even gonna lie to y'all, it does tangle a little bit, but it's not anything that's excessive or like that I can't deal with because I mean, it's long hair, it is synthetic human mix, so I would expect some tangling, um, but it's not bad at all. And y'all can see the luster, luster on this hair. It's not too shiny, it's not too dull, it's just like, it just looks like a blown out texture, which is what I love because I don't want anything super silky because my hair isn't silky, you know what I'm saying? So I like for my styles to really match and be kind of like undetectable, even though people will obviously know this is weave, it still looks like 
my texture of hair you know what i'm saying so yeah y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's any type of videos or any hairstyles you want me to try out um or just videos in general that you want to see from me be sure to leave them down below in the comments y'all know i like hearing from y'all and yeah y'all i will see y'all on the next video bye y'all we were reading his image, then call us by our name. Most intellects do not believe in God, but they fear us just the same. Oh.